Algebra 2. Today's learning target is I can solve systems of equations with three variables using elimination and substitution. It is section 3.5 in your textbook, systems with three variables. Most of the time you'll see uh, the x, y, and z being the variables involved. However, if they do change it up on you, just make sure that you remember that um, alpha, al go in alphabetical order. So, for example, if they give you um, an A, B, C, then A is the X, B is the Y, and C is the Z. You're going to use elimination and substitution to solve a system with three different variables. Your answers will need to be written as an ordered triple x, y, and then z. Your goal should be, game plan, to select two equations at a time to work with and then cancel one of the variables. And again, the way you cancel is the same as in the past. Make sure that the coefficients will add up to zero. Whatever letter you choose to cancel, I need you to then select two more equations, two different equations, and cancel the same variable. Okay, so again, make sure you choose two equations at a time. You cancel one of the letters, your choice, whether it be X, Y, or Z. Whatever variable you choose to cancel, please make sure you cancel the same same variable in the other two equations you select. If you ch cancel the x in your first two equations and then change over and cancel the y in your second and third equation, you will um, make the problem a lot harder. Okay, so example one, we're going to solve the system with three letters. You notice I have my x lined up, x is in front, then the y's, z's and then the numbers. Okay, and I am going to um, color code these. So I'm going to make this one, first one be the red one, and then I'm going to do green, and then I'm going to do blue. And that's just so I can refer back to them. Based on what you see, um, the red and the green one, if you're focused on the top two, you have a 2 in front of the X and a 1 in front of X. So that wouldn't be too bad to cancel. Um, based on the red and green equations, you have a negative 1 and a 3 for the coefficients for Y. And the Z's coefficients are 1 and negative 1. So it looks like if I choose the top two equations, the red and the green one, I would be allowed to cancel the Z's right now. So I'm actually going to start there. I'm going to recopy, always recopy what you're working with, the first equation. And then I'm going to recopy the second one. And based on what you see right now, the X's or the Z's, the Z's will cancel. They do add up to zero. So then you're going to be left with 2X plus 1X, which is 3X. Uh, the negative 1 plus 3 is going to give you a positive 2Y. And then the constant numbers, 4 plus 11, is going to be 15. So what I like to do, as soon as I have transformed two equations into one with two variables, I like to highlight it. And so I don't lose, um, lose it in the process of solving, because these are going to be long problems. Okay, so remember my game plan for example one, I chose the red equation, the first one, the greenest equation, the second one, and I noticed that the z's canceled for me, 
so I thought that was a, a good start. Now I've ended up having uh, or left with one equation with x and y. So since I chose to cancel the z's, my next thought should be pick two different equations and cancel the z's. So your choices are the red equation with the blue equation or the green with the blue. The red with the blue, notice the z's right now, that has a positive 1 and a negative 1. So it looks like these will already cancel. Whereas the green and the blue, I would ha I have two negative 1's. I would have to multiply one of the equations by negative 1 to get that to, to cancel for me. So I'm thinking that the first equation, the red one, um, and the blue equation would be a good next step. Okay, so I'm going to come up here to show it. make this comment right now when you're working on your own paper please be careful and be organized and make sure that I can follow your steps like you're working down the page and then when you get to a place where you found like um, an equation with two letters like if like I did I went back to the top draw me arrows so I can kind of follow the whole um, list of like your steps Okay, you can see that in my red and blue one, the z's do cancel. So that's that was what I wanted to happen. And then I'm going to combine my x terms. And I'm choosing, obviously, from the get-go to use elimination here. And so I'm going to be left with a 6x. Um, and then I notice the y's are canceling as well. So that's actually good news. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and drop down the 6x and then 4 plus 14 is 18. And so in this case, I actually um, can go ahead and solve. It, it's even nicer when two variables cancel. And so now I have x is equal to 3. Okay. Alright, so then it looks like I can go back and since I know that x is 3, go over here and put 3 in x's place, save a position or a spot for the y value and the z variable, or value as well. Okay, now to continue, what would probably be a good idea is to go back and grab the highlighted equation. Since we already know x is 3, let's just substitute 3 in place of x in this equation. You're going to be left with 9 plus 2y is equal to 15. Then you're going to be left with 2y is equal to 15 transpose the 9 minus 9. So 2y is equal to 6, divide by 2, and looks like y is equal to 3. Okay, so I'll circle that, and then I'll come back up here and substitute it right now into my ordered triple. So now I need to find the z. To find the value for z, I just go to any equation on the board that has a z in it, basically. So you're always going to have all kinds of options. Um, you can pick any of the top three. Obviously you can't pick this one that's highlighted since z is missing. Um, so you really do, like I said, have more than one way to get there. Alright, so I found three. I'm going to come back up here and show my work for the next step. I'm going to choose to grab, I think, the red equation, the top one. I'm just going to kind of re talk here. So 2y, 2x minus y plus z 
is equal to 4. And then I'm going to substitute in the values I already know, like x is 3, um, y is 3. Notice there's a minus sign in front of it, so that's why I topped it that way. And then plus c is equal to 4. So that's saying that 6 minus 3 plus z is equal to 4. Okay, and then I'm going to bring down my z. Or actually go ahead, and I'm going to combine 6 minus 3 and just call it 3. Plus c is equal to 4, make it a little bit easier. And then z is equal to 4 minus 3. So I just found z to be equal to 1. So let's circle that one, come back up here, and just finish it up by putting it in my order triple. Okay, so the order triple the solution to this system of three equations with three variables is 3, x is 3, y is 3, and z is 1. Okay, let's try number 2. Okay, again, I'm just going to color code these so I can refer to them faster. So I'm going to make the top one the red one. And then the second equation green, third equation blue. You notice in example two that the red equation has is in standard form. It has x and a y and a z. Green equation is actually missing a z, um, and the blue equation is missing. It's backwards, but it's missing a y. Um, and so I think the first thing I'm going to choose to do is and this is um, an option you have, is to change them all over to like where they all look the same. They all have three letters. So I'm basically going to just top in the first equation, as is, new copy. And the second one, which is the green one, I am going to throw in what's missing. So it should say x plus 5y and then plus 0z. And that's equal to 9. And then on the third one, which I'm calling the blue equation, um, I'm going to put the negative 5x in front. And then I do not see a y term, so I'm going to say 0y. And then plus 4z. And that's equal to 4. Okay, and this is an option you have. Um, you also could have just taken like these two equations and canceled. You don't have to necessarily do this, but you could have canceled like the x's and then gone back and like use substitution. Um, so this, like what I'm showing you is not the only way to do this problem. All right. And so now I'm going to study the three equations and see if I see right now anything that's canceling. Okay, um, so what I'm going to choose to do is pick the first one, the red one, and the blue one, the third one, and I think I'm going to choose to cancel the Z's. Um, this one has a negative 2 and this one has a 4, so I would need to multiply the top equation by a positive 2 um, to get that to work. Okay, so I'll try that and see what happens here. Um, so I'm going to multiply the top equation by 2. It's going to be 4x plus 6y minus 4z is equal to negative 2. I just distributed the 2 to every term. And then I'm going to choose to do the blue equation. Let's recopy it. Notice that I did accomplish my goal. 
disease cancel. And so now, I'm going to be left with 4 minus 5 is a negative 1x. Um, I'm going to have 6y plus 0y, which is 6y, and equal to negative 2 plus 4, which is just a 2. And so, like I said before, as soon as I get an equation with two variables in it, I like to use a highlighter or star it, draw my attention to it later, because I'm probably going to have to come back and use it. Okay, so my game plan for example two was I chose the first equation and the third equation, and I canceled um, no, the first one and the second one, sorry, and I canceled the z's, um, and I'll, I got this equation left. Okay, so continuing on, let me bring my steps all the way back up to the top of the page. Since I chose the red and the green, and I got rid of the Z's, now I'm going to choose either the red and the blue, the red and the blue, um, or, I messed up again, I chose the red and the blue, I'm either going to choose the red and green, or the green and blue, and that's completely up to you. I just don't want to do the same thing twice here. So, I'm going to choose the red. Let me scroll down. I did choose the red and blue, so I want to choose red and either green. Um, so I guess that will be my option since I chose red. I'm going to go with that. Remember, in the first part of the problem, I was getting rid of the Z's down here. So I want to stick with the same game plan. Um, I have a negative 2 and a 0. And so since 0, this is interesting, since 0 is the coefficient, the only way to get this to cancel is to cause this to be 0. So I'm actually going to have to just kind of, looks kind of odd, but I'm going to have to throw a 0 out in front. So I'm going to have 0x plus 0y minus 0z, not that the sign really matters, but equals 0. And then I'm going to have the green equation topped underneath it, x plus 5y plus 0z is equal to 9. And you notice I'm trying to skip space and be organized. Don't try to cram your problem in because these problems are very easy to lose your place and it will cost you mistakes too. Alright, so I did accomplish my goal. Now I'm going to add, we're in adding mode, 0 and a 1. So I'm going to get 1x back. And then I'm going to have a plus 5y. 0 plus 5. And then I'm just going to have equals 9. So I'm going to grab my highlighter again, and star highlight, draw my attention to it. And I'll scroll down and let you look at my screen now. The whole purpose in doing that is now I have an equation with an x and y, and an x and a y. So we're going to do what we have been taught in the past. We're going to put these together. So I'm going to recopy. Yes, I'm rewriting the same thing. My first equation. And then underneath it, the one I just found. And now this is our new problem. We still haven't found the value for any of the letters, but we're on our way. Okay, now if you'll look, um, this is really good. These are going to automatically cancel for us, which is awesome. And then we're going to be left with 6 plus 5 is 11 y equal to 2 plus 9 is 11. Again, these are just long problems. We just have to hang in there. And then 
we are going to write down y equals 1. Highlight that, come back up here. Okay, now we just found the y. So I need to leave a space for the x. Y is 1, leave a space for the z. Write it like that. Okay, we've got to find the x and the z now. Um, try your best to kind of simplify this. Again, these problems are long enough. So I would not go back up here and pick one of these. I would really stick with one of the highlighted equations because if we already know y is 1, then it will be easy to just substitute here and solve for x. So that's what I'm going to choose to do. Okay, so I'm going to grab my pen and I'm going to come back up here and show that. Okay, so I'm just jotting down the equation that's highlighted. I know that x or y is 1. So substitute one in the right place. Be really careful. Pay attention to all your letters. Um, next step, you're going to see x plus 5 equals 9. So x is equal to 9 minus 5 when you transpose. So x has to be 4. So now, let me top it in my ordered triple, hang it in there, and we got to find the z. Alright, we got the x, we got the y, this should be the easy part. So I'm going to try to finish this problem in this section of the board right now. Um, I've got to find an equation on the board, I know there's a lot going on here, but find one that has a z in it, and it looks like it is the red one. So I'm going to top. Right here, um, 2x plus 3y minus 2z is equal to negative 1. And so my x value is 4, my y value is 1. So I'm going to be left with 8 plus 3 minus 2z is equal to negative 1. I want to combine 8 and 3 to get 11. So now the problem becomes negative 2z is equal to negative 1 minus 11 when I transpose. Negative 2z is equal to negative 12, and divide by negative 2. And we are in the home stretch. So we're going to say that x or z is equal to 6. Highlighter. And you can see how much time I'm taking to keep trying my best to keep everything organized, highlighted. If x is 6, I'm sorry, z is 6, and scroll down there, z is 6, then I'm going to make sure that it goes in the right place into my ordered triple. Okay. We did it. And yes, it took a lot of time. Um, and usually I tell my students every year in the classroom, just make sure that you have patience, um, that you don't give up. You have a good eraser because we're probably going to make some mistakes at the beginning and that's okay. And you have plenty of paper. Um, it's nothing for one problem to take one whole sheet of paper. Um, but just hang in there. We'll, we'll continue to practice this and I'll go over some more examples next time. 
because um, again, I only did two today and, and the video is already at 20, almost 25 minutes. So um, good luck, be organized, make it nice and neat so I can follow you because if you do make a mistake, it's extremely hard for actually you and I to find it unless you are organized um, and I would suggest using a highlighter as well. Okay, so give it a try and we'll try some more next time as well.